So right now we're going to open up Photoshop. That's software we're using to edit the image. Right, so you need to start a new document. Go to film and video. Okay, so now you need to pick the HD V size transparent background and you need to change the resolution to 300 to get the best quality the transparent background you need so you can overlay it over your video image put your name in for the title of the file okay so you know when you're doing your titles you you know you have a variety of choices for fonts you know you can go really crazy there's some good websites online that you can find free fonts to download. Make them stand out but make sure they're readable as well. So what we're writing here now is title, level and extra info. Now you can put whatever you want but this is what we're going to do for this uh, for this tutorial. Right now I've done them in white but I'm going to do a layer style that's going to make it stand out more and it's going to make it stand out more depending on what color the background changes to so if it's dark or, or light it doesn't matter because the change in the layer style will make it uh, much better save your file as a PNG that's very important as it makes sure the background still transparent okay now I am going to be putting subtitles now what you need to do with subtitles is save each different section that you write out as a separate file. Subtitles can be used to enhance your narration or you can subtitle certain words and certain points within the narration that you really want to emphasize to the audience. Okay now I'm going to save that and that's going to be saved as a PNG as well. We need to save it as PNGs because it gives it a good uh, transparent background which is going to overlay on the video nicely. Right, save that now open up Premiere this is a video editing software. Remember there are free versions that we've uh, highlighted earlier on in the video. Okay, so we're gonna open up a new project. Okay, we're gonna name it Enhanced Gameplay Montage. Okay, make sure the file settings are right. We're gonna do it at 720p because that's what we've downloaded the uh, platform LAN Call of Duty Black Ops 2 file. Okay, now we're going to name the sequence. There's loads of different editing software and listed a free one that you can use. So you don't have to use Premiere, you know, there's, there's whatever floats your boat and whatever works best for your system. Uh, we use Premiere a lot so that's why we're showing you this guide in Premiere. Now we need to open up our files. Okay, so I'm selecting them all and I'm importing them straight into the timeline. They're all there now. So the first thing I'm going to drag out is the actual video footage itself. Now that was recorded off a PVR2 uh, made by Hopage. It's the one we recommend and it's one of the best ones out there. Okay. Now that's the narration that I recorded earlier on uh, of me playing the Black Ops 2 game. Okay, that needs to go on the audio section. Now I'm bringing in the first set of PNGs. Okay, these are going to come over really nicely over the screen now. I'm stretching them over. Right now, you can see that the title, the level, and the extra info is really nice. And it's, it's sticking out really nice. So now the subtitles are coming out. You need to make a separate PNG file for each subtitle. And if you change scenes or change uh, your gameplay, you need to make a different title and you need to overlay them in sections. Okay, now we're going to export this out, put the right settings in, we're going for H264. And then Premiere's got this brilliant preset, YouTube HD 720p at 25 frames a second, so it's YouTube ready 